Hi, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at installing icons and themes on our Ubuntu desktop. Now we're on an Ubuntu 18 computer using the Unity desktop, and over here in Firefox I have a couple of GitHub repositories open. So this is a theme for the Ubuntu desktop. Now I'm looking at Vimix here, and I'll post the URLs to all these repositories in the description of this video. This is currently one of my favorite themes for the Unity desktop. It is a flat material design based theme. If you scroll down here, there's some screenshots on this repository. So it looks something like this. And there's a couple of different modes. There's the dark mode and the light mode here. So you can choose between those. And the installation instructions are very simple. So if you come up here, and since we're on an Ubuntu computer, we can actually just do a sudo apt-get install of these. So let's copy this line here, copy that and I'm going to press my home key to start my launcher and then I'm going to search for the terminal and I'll open that and then I'm going to maximize the size here and I'll bump up the font size a little bit and then I'll just update my package manager that makes sure we get the most recent version of the software I'll clear my back scroll and now I'll just paste in that line there so we're installing the GTK2 engines so it looks like we already had the required software installed, so that's great. And then if we come back over here to the repository, it says basically that we just have to run this installation script here. So if we come back up here, we can download this repository. So if we go to the cloner download button here, I'm going to say download the zip file. And then I'll choose to save the file, so we'll say OK. And that's going to download to our downloads folder here. So if we open up our file browser and go to downloads, You'll see we have the zip file, so I can come in here and I can right click on it and say extract here. And then this folder here is opened up, so this is the unpacked files here. So let's go back to our terminal and let's go into that folder. So I'm going to go to my downloads and go into the Vimix master and let's list the files here. So you see that we have this install.sh file here and we're going to run that by doing .install.sh and that's going to start the installation process for us. So you can see what it's actually doing is it's adding these files here to our .themes folder. So we have a hidden folder inside our home directory. Now our home directory is home forward slash the username of the computer. In my case, it's Jim A. Fisk. And there's that hidden .themes folder. And now we have installed each one of these variations of this theme into that folder. So you see there's laptop specific themes, there's light versions, dark versions, etc. So if we want to list those files, we could list our home directory. The shortcut for that is the tilde forward slash dot themes. If you look in there, you'll see all these Vimix folders. Okay, so Vimix is installed. Now I want to flip back over here to Firefox and I want to mention another theme that I've used in the past that I've really liked. So this is a theme called Flat Tabulous. And if you've seen any of the older videos on the Jim A. Fisk channel, you'll notice that I've been using this theme a fair amount. So this is an awesome theme. It's definitely worth checking out if you want to try a couple of different themes out. So take a look at this. Okay, so now we could go ahead and we could use the icon theme that comes with this theme here. So if you come down to the bottom of this page, you'll notice that it's based on the paper icon theme. And now I have that repository open over here. I've used this theme in the past as well. This has a lot of great icons in it. If you open up the website for this theme, you can see a snippet of those. They look something like this. They look really nice. But I'm going to use a different icon theme here. So I'm going to use the papyrus icon theme. This is one of the most fully fledged icon themes that I've used. It has a lot of coverage for all sorts of applications. And I really like the look of the flat material like icons. So let's scroll down here. You can see a small subset of the icons that are available so you can get a sense of the style of them. They look like this. And then let's scroll down here to the installation instructions. And you see that we can just use the apt-get package manager to install for Ubuntu. So I'm going to add this repository here. Copy that, go back to my terminal. I can go back to any directory, it doesn't really matter. I'll paste that in, press enter. And then we just have to update our package manager again so it can recognize that PPA that we just added. I'll paste that in. And then finally we just come in here and we actually install the icon theme. So I'll copy that and paste that.
Okay, so now we just need a way to implement the theme and the icons that we downloaded. So I'm going to open up my launcher here and I'm going to search for the software center and I'll open that up and then in the search up here I'm going to search for unity tweaks so unity tweak and then you see that this unity tweak tool appears here now if you're on the gnome desktop you could use the gnome tweak tool instead I think it's just called gnome tweaks but I'm going to install this enter my password for my computer And then I'll press the launch button once this is finished installing. So you see this little application opens up over here. And now this tool allows us to change a lot of different settings on our computer. The two important ones for us right now are the theme and the icons. So if I go over to the theme settings and I click on that, we're using this default theme called Ambience. But you can see that we have these Vimix themes that we installed manually. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to try one of these themes here. So notice that the theme will change things like these windows that are opened here. So Currently you have these close and minimize buttons here and I'll click on the Vimix dark laptop barrel. And you notice how that jumps. So our windows became the dark versions and now we have these different icons here and the general look and feel of this has all changed. You'll notice that our system icons, things that appear in our menu over here on the left hand side, they still look the same. So if we wanted to change those, we could go to the icon section here and we could choose some of the papyrus icons that we installed. So if I go to Papyrus here, you see that those changed when I clicked on that. So navigating to this icons tab is the same thing as going back to the overview and clicking the icons here under appearance. It takes you to the same menu. And then if you ever want to restore the defaults, you can always come down here to the bottom left and click restore defaults. Now feel free to go and play around with some of these themes download some different ones and try out different combinations between themes and icons and find one that you like. For instance, maybe you like a lighter theme, so you could come down here and you could try something like the light version of this Vimix theme. Now I really like the dark laptop barrel, so I'm going to go back to that. And I think this is pretty good, so at this point I can just close out of all these applications and I'm good to go. I can start using my new theme and my new icons and carry on the way I would normally use my computer. I hope this has helped you figure out how to set the theme and icons on your computer. If you have any questions or run into trouble, please just comment below and we'll try to help you figure out what's going on. Thanks for watching this and stay tuned for more content like this in the future. Take care.